Jess asked me to share with you how do you uh, have links when you click them you want to email somebody you're looking at a web page and there's a link email us and you click that link and it launches like the wrong program like Outlook or something and you'd rather have it launch Gmail uh, I'm going to show you the fix I found for Jess's computer and hopefully this fix will work for your computer first thing you want to do is you want to go down to your start button and right here you have this little search window and in that search window you want to just, uh, type in set default <clears throat> Set your default program. So that's what you're looking for right there. So I typed in set default, it brought it up. I click on that and then wait. And uh, in here I could set, you know, what these different programs do. And so I'm going to click on Google Chrome. And if I wanted to, I could choose defaults for this program. Uh, choose which file types and protocols selected program opens by default. And so I can go through and I could be selective, but I like Chrome for everything. Uh, it's really, I think, the best browser that's out there. I think Google is at the top of their game and everybody else is uh, struggling to keep up. But uh, So I'm going to set Chrome to uh, set this program as default for everything. Use the selected program to open all types of files and protocols that can open by default. So I just click that. And if I click this other one, I can come in here and I can see now that this mail to link, which is what those links are on web pages, uh, that mail to link is enabled for Chrome. So when a mail to link gets clicked, uh, Chrome's going to open it. And I click OK. Well, I did that in Jess's computer, and it still didn't work. So when there was a mail, you know, when there was a, let's aug learn, let's go learn. When there was a mail to link, like right here, help and let's go learn. If you look down the bottom left of your screen, you'll see what the link refers to. It says mail to, and then the email address. And uh, when I clicked that in Jess's computer after I had switched it to Chrome and enabled all as the default program, uh, it still didn't work. So what I did next was I went to Google, so you might have to do this, and I searched for Chrome extensions. And uh, there are all these uh, Chrome extensions that you could add on to Google Chrome, which will extend the capabilities of Chrome. So I click on that, and I could uh, go through and explore, but what I'm going to do is search for Gmail. That was the first thing I looked for and kind of on my computer I'm running this one. I like to grab the ones built by Google first and foremost but uh, for Jess's, the one that for whatever reason I went to first because I was searching a form and that's how I got here. Uh, I put in this one, Mail2 for Gmail and it's free. I imagine it's at Google's Chrome store. They've checked it for uh, malicious software. And uh, so I installed that one, and, uh, and now it works. Now it works. So that's what you need to do. If it's not working, try that one. You might try first, though, just the one that is made by Google, this one right here, and see if that works. I don't know what that one does. I have it on mine, but uh, you might try it. All right, that's my, those are my thoughts. That's my short little video. Those are my two cents on uh, MailTune and getting Chrome to launch it the way you want.